Hi folks, a couple weeks ago I did an unboxing video of some O-Gage trains and accessories that were sent to me by Menards to review. And included in that box we had a couple examples of their brand new lighted caboose. So we're going to check these out today on Eric's Trains. All right, so this will be my first time reviewing anything from Menards. Now, Menards is making all sorts of great O-Gage stuff these days, and at very affordable prices, I might add. They're making rolling stock and structures and accessories and even their own track. And within the rolling stock category, they make all sorts of types of freight cars. They make box cars and tank cars and hoppers and flat cars and so forth, and of course, cabooses. And although I eventually will be reviewing all of their types of rolling stock, I figured the caboose was a good place to start because, of course, the caboose is a staple of any good model railroad. So let's go ahead and check them out. All right, so here we have the brand new Menards Pennsylvania caboose with lights. As you can see, we've got a light up in the cupola and they've even got frosted windows so that you don't have to look at any ugly wires or light bulbs. That's a really nice touch, especially on a budget model like this. And then on the back side, we've got a couple of flashing marker lights. Now, the flashing lights are on this side only. They're not on the other side. But yeah, this looks pretty nice. Now, keep in mind that this is traditional O-gauge, or O27 as I like to call it. This is not a high-end scale model, and it should not be judged as such. This is semi-scale, compressed. It's basically a toy train, and it's like the classic toy trains that Lionel made in the post-war period starting in the 1940s and that they still make today. It is not a high-end scale model. Now, because a lot of people get confused about the difference between traditional O-gauge and O-scale, let me show you what I'm talking about real quick. So this is a traditional O-gauge caboose. It's more like a toy train. And then down here, we have an O-scale caboose. So this is a scale model of a Pensy caboose made by MTH. It's 1 48th scale, so it's much larger. It's got really nice detailing, a better paint job, die-cast metal trucks and couplers, nice add-on details everywhere. It's even got a crew member in the cupola. So this is much more of a high-end O-scale model of a Pensy caboose, whereas this is a semi-scale model of a Pensy caboose that's more like a toy train. However, they both run on the same track because they're both O-gauge and they have the same couplers so they can run together even though it looks a little weird. Now, one of these days I'll have to do a video or more likely a series of videos documenting the history of O-gauge because for people who are on the outside and looking in like people in HO or other gauges, they're often very confused about O-Gauge. You know, why do you have some that are really small and semi-scale, and why do you have others that are large and built to scale? And why do they have those big couplers, and why are there three rails? Well, it's a very long and complicated story, and a lot of it has to do with traditions and stuff that was done a long time ago, almost 100 years ago. And so, like I said, one of these days I will do a video or a series of videos documenting that history. So starting on the bottom, we've got plastic trucks and couplers, which is kind of to be expected on a low-end budget model like this. Pretty much the only things that are metal on this model are going to be the things that have to be metal, like the hinge pin for the coupler, the thumbtack that activates the coupler, the wheels and the axles, and the pickup rollers. Everything else is going to be plastic. Now what's nice is that they actually have two pickup rollers down here. Now the couplers themselves because they're plastic and they have that plastic spring, you know, they're not the most responsive things in the world. You kind of have to give them a little tug to get them to open up all the way, but they are functional. And again, for a budget model like this, that's really nothing to complain about. If we turn this over one more time, you can see that the underside of the caboose has some sparse detailing, and it's actually got some rivet detailing under there, which is kind of a surprise. Here's a look at one of the ends, and there's a lot of shadow, so let me go ahead and shine a light in there so you can get a better look. But again, everything is going to be plastic here, the walkway and the stairs, although the stairs and the walkways do have safety tread molded into the plastic. All of this stuff is plastic. Even the grab irons here aren't real. They're painted on, although they did a pretty good job painting them on, especially for a budget model. On this end, we've got the flashing lights, of course. The doors don't open, but we do have some rivet detail going on. 
And again, we've got these frosted windows, which I think is a really nice touch, especially on a low-end budget model like this. The sides of the caboose look pretty good, and I have to say that the paint job on this car is not bad at all. You know, some of the other entry-level Menards freight cars have a reputation for having overspray and not-so-perfect paint jobs. And I have to say, it looks like they're doing a better job these days. This is actually pretty good. It's not perfect. There are a few flaws here and there. But overall, it's pretty good. And especially for an entry-level model, it's just fine. Down here, we've got the Built by Menards 2019 Herald. And this kind of harkens back to when Lionel used to do that on all of their rolling stock. So I kind of like it. It's kind of an old-school retro touch. And then over here, we've got some legible car data. Up on top here, everything is pretty basic. The walkways and so forth are molded into the plastic. The grab irons are painted on. However, we do have a little add-on chimney piece, which is a nice touch. I also picked up a Milwaukee Road version of the same type of caboose, and I left this one in the box so that you could get a better look at how it's packaged. Now, I like this no-nonsense packaging because this is a budget-friendly product line, so why waste money on a fancy box when you can put that money into the model? So to open it up, you just flip the lid like that, and there it is. So let's go ahead and get this one out of the box. So there you have it, and if we flip it over, you can see the label Menards Gold Line Collection Milwaukee Road Caboose with working lights, available only at Menards. And so let's go ahead and pop the top. And there you have it. Very nice, just like the Pensy counterpart. Again, the paint job is not perfect, but it's adequate, and when this thing's highballing down the rails, you're not going to notice. So let's go ahead and put it on the rails, and we'll power it up. And there you have it. Not bad at all. So throughout this video, I've been calling these budget-friendly. So what do they cost? Well, just like all other pieces of Menards or rolling stock, these cabooses are ridiculously inexpensive. You can get a brand new caboose from Menards for $25. You can get a four pack of these cabooses from Menards for under $90. That's insane. Now, how do they get these things so affordable when a similar caboose from Lionel or MTH is gonna run you anywhere between $60 and $75, give or take? Well, it comes back to that old saying, you get what you pay for. This is a $25 caboose, so don't expect the same build quality that you would get on a Lionel or MTH caboose. So, you know, where you'd like to have high quality die cast metal trucks and couplers, on a $25 caboose, it's probably not gonna happen. Where you'd like to have more add-on details and so forth, on a $25 caboose, it's probably not gonna happen. And where you'd like to have a flawless paint job on a $25 caboose, you guessed it, it's probably not gonna happen. And don't get me wrong, the paint job on this caboose is adequate. It's okay, it's just not perfect, but that's okay, it's $25. You know, over the last few years, Menards has really cornered the market for low-cost, affordable O-gauge trains, and nobody else out there is making new pieces of rolling stock for these prices. Nobody. So if you're new to the hobby, or you're getting back into the hobby, or you're an established hobbyist, and you're looking for a way to expand your fleet of rolling stock without putting a big dent in your wallet, these pieces from Menards are a great option. As long as you set your expectations appropriately, for $25, you can't go wrong. All right, that about wraps it up for my first review of any Menards rolling stock. I hope you enjoyed it, and as I said before, Menards has all sorts of different types of rolling stock for sale right now, and I will be reviewing more of their rolling stock in the future. I'll also be reviewing some of their excellent structures and buildings, and I'll be reviewing some more of their other accessories and their track and so forth. So keep an eye out for all that in the near future. Now, if you'd like to purchase one of these cabooses, you can do that on the Menards website at www.menards.com. And I've also got a link to their train store down in the description. The price, as I said before, is right at $25. So as always, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And when you do subscribe, make sure you click that little bell icon next to the subscribe link so that you can get notifications whenever I publish a new video. 
video. Now, if you'd like to support Eric's Trains, you can do so through Patreon at www.patreon.com slash Eric's Trains. And I'd like to put a big thank you out there to all of my Patreon supporters, especially my first class supporters. And as always, if you're a first class supporter, you get your name listed in the credits at the end of every video while you're a supporter. You'll see that list in just a minute. And then finally, if you'd like to get an Eric's Trains t-shirt or any other Eric's Trains merchandise, you can do so through the Eric's Trains online store at www.ericstrains.com slash store. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Eric Siegel, and I'll see you next time. So this will be my uh, blah, blah. all right. So this will be my first time reviewing anything, anyth anything, anything. They make rolling stock and structures and accessories and even their own track. And within the accessories category, uh, sh I also picked up a Milwaukee Road version of the same type of caboose, and I left it in the box so that you could get, you could get a bit of it. Uh. There's nobody else out there who is making rolling stock, brand new rolling stock. For these prices nobody so if you're looking to increase the something <laughs> all right that about wraps it up for my first my uh, ah, that really came out well <laughs>